everyone! Isn't it a great day? I'm so glad you're here at the Cayman Kids Puppet Show. All month, we've been talking about responsibility. Responsibility is showing that you can be trusted with what is expected of you. This week, we're learning about the parable of the bags of gold. Let's dive right in. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verses 14 through 30. When Jesus wanted to share truth with the people that followed him, he often would tell a parable, a story. Here is what the kingdom of heaven will be like. These parables used everyday situations to help people think and understand God's truth for themselves. One day in Jerusalem, Jesus wanted to share a story with his followers. If he told that same story today, it might sound something like this. There once was a man who created the world's most amazing energy bar. Just one bite and I feel like I could leap tall buildings in a single bound. What is even in these? If I told you, I'd have to leave you stranded on top of Mount Everest. The man did such a good job of selling the energy bars, he soon became wealthy. Then one day, he got on a Zoom call with three of his top employees. Zane, Ren, Murray. Yes, sir. Right here. Murray. Says he's here. I don't hear him. Start your audio, Murray. Oh, hey, just, you know, I was finishing the movie. I've called you together for an important purpose. I'm going offline. You're what? <laughs> Completely screen free. I'm going to travel the world for a while. Hike Everest, cross the Sahara, dive down to the Mariana Trench, miles beneath the ocean, all fueled by my energy bar, of course. Dude, that is far out. Literally. The rich man had carefully studied his employees and knew what they could handle. While I'm gone, I'm leaving you in charge of my money. Zane, I'm sending you an encrypted key to access my gold account with 5,000 credits. Oh, excellent. Ren, here's an encrypted key to access my silver account with 2,000 credits. I'm on it. Murray. Check your inbox for an encrypted key to my bronze account with 1,000 credits. That's it. That's it. I'm going off the grid. Immediately, Zane accessed the money from the gold account and put that money to work. He hired scientists and designers to create a suction shoe that would keep a rock climber from falling. I call it the fly shoe. The fly shoe sold as nearly as fast as the energy bar. Zane soon made his money back and more. Ren. Meanwhile, made excellent use of the money in the silver account. What does every adventurer need besides fuel and shoes? A friend. So Ren invented a robotic hamster that could travel anywhere an explorer can go, from the highest of mountains to the deepest ocean trench. Soon, robotic adventure hamsters sold as fast as toilet papers. So that left only Murray, who sat looking at the bronze account on his computer screen. Only 1,000. It's like he expects me to mess it up. Well, I'll show him, ha! Huh. So Murray took the money out in coins and stashed them in a giant bag. Then late one night, dug a hole in his backyard, stashed the bag inside, and covered it right back up. Great, now all I have to do is go back inside and watch Netflix. After a very long time, the rich man returned from the wilds. Ah, electricity, internet. I have returned to the grid. Please accept my meeting invite. Zane and Ren hopped on the call immediately. Murray took a little longer. Start, Start your audio, audio, Murray. Oh yeah, there it is. I'm excited to see how you've handled my money, Zane. Through sales of the fly shoe, I've added 5,000 more credits to your gold account. Well done, good and faithful employee. You've been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share my happiness. Now, Ren. My adorable traveling robotic hamsters have earned 2,000 more credits for your silver account. Well done, 
good and faithful employee. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share my happiness. <laughs> so, uh, Murray. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, hold on. Murray reached down and held up a muddy sack. He spilled the coins across the desk. How much is that? 1,000 credits. That's what I gave you. Yeah. Yeah, well, I knew you're a tough businessman. You, you make money even where you haven't worked for it. I didn't want you getting mad, so I just buried the money. See? It's all safe. Murray offered a weak smile, but instead of smiling back, the rich man went red in the face. You lazy man. If you knew I can make money even when I haven't worked for it, you should have at least kept my money in the bank where it would have earned a little bit. Uh, sure. The rich man turned to his personal assistant and ordered. Take Murray's credits and give them to Zane, who already has 10,000 credits. Oh, and take Murray off my payroll immediately. The message of Jesus' story was clear. If you are responsible for what you were given, You'll be given more. If you wasted it, you end up with nothing. When Jesus told this story, everyone listening would have known exactly what he meant. The message was clear. Those who are responsible with what they've been given will be trusted and given more. But those who waste it will end up with nothing. There's a great rule for life we can remember from this story. Make the most of what you've been given. Anytime someone gives us the chance to do something, we can come through for them and always do our very best. Let's pray and ask God to help us do this. Dear God, thank you for this story Jesus told. It helps us remember to make the most of every gift and opportunity you've given us. Please give us the courage to use the things in our lives to help others instead of being lazy or afraid. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll see you all next week. Bye, everyone.